Hi guys, in today's video I want to talk about energy consumption and how artists can lessen their impact on the environment as well as become less dependent on the grid. So one way to do this is through solar and I recently purchased the iTech 1300P portable power station from iTech World here in Australia. Uh, it's 1300P because it's 1300 watts. Um, I think it does have a peak output of 2000 watts. Um, not sure if I'd want to push it though. So here it is, it's got two AC outlets, output sorry, four USBs, one 12 volt and two others which I'm not sure what they are. I'm sure I'll find out. So I did have to buy this additional adapter uh, cable to plug into my solar panels. It's just an Anderson adapter plug. And as you can see, I've got it uh, plugged into my King's 250 watt uh, solar panels, which we bought for camping. I believe this solar panel cost $250 or something like that. 200, 200. It's currently on sale for 230. So there you go. Uh, so 250 watt solar panel. Uh, and it's got a maximum power voltage of 18.2 volts. So the iTech unit does say that you shouldn't use any panels um, or put a chain of panels together in excess of 26 volts. You can um, do some damage to the unit. So here's the setup in the backyard. That's obviously not plugged into the van. Um, and so once it's charged, I brought it, bring it inside. Um, so it only took five hours to get from 20% to 100%, which is pretty quick. Uh, but as you saw, it was a beautiful sunny day. So I brought it inside, plugged in my phone and a battery charger for my camera. And I've got two power boards uh, plugged in as well. So I do intend to use this unit for a lot of things, including uh, kitchen appliances where I can, just to again lessen my impact on the environment and save on some electricity bills. So um, I do have a list of all the appliances in my house and the amount of watts that they do take to run. So um, for example, I want to plug in my bread maker, which is watts and I bought that particular bread maker because it was a um, more compact version and whereas the larger bread makers were, had an output of uh, 1200 watts and I knew that was going to push the system so I didn't buy it. So as you can see here I've got my monitor plugged in, my Intel puck, my little mini computer and I also have my uh, Logitech speakers I do also intend to power from the unit. Uh, I've got a studio light plugged into the power board there. So that power board there is full. I then have my second lead running to my next power board, which isn't full, and there's my second studio light. I've got the TV plugged in and the lounge. So when I had it running last night, I had uh, everything running. I had my my studio lights, I had the TV on, uh, I had the lounge on and I wanted to really test it so I actually brought in a heater uh, with a fan and um, 
fan did come on, it was quite loud. Not, not that loud, but it was noticeable. So just to you know, give you a heads up, when it is pumping out that much power, uh, the fan does come on. So there you go. So here I am powering my lounge with my solar unit generator. And this lounge is <laughs> electronic recliner. It's got LED lights on it down the bottom, <coughs> reclines, all the jazz, <coughs> excuse me, and what I like to do is just make sure I turn everything off with the power board if I'm not using it, just to um, reduce the, the load on the unit, because things still draw power, um, even though they're not being used, it's still standby power, so yeah, 77, 80 watts, it's pulling, and it's only dropped 1%, so at the time of making this particular video, um, I'd had the unit plugged in for, I don't know, half an hour, something like that. So yeah, you get a little baggie with your unit, a user guide, um, an AC charger, so you can plug it into the wall to charge the unit if you just want to plug it in at home. Um, if you don't have a set of solar panels, you also get a 12 volt um, charging adapter as well. Um, so if you're out camping and you want to take your unit with you. So, yeah. So, again, the Anderson plug adapter to plug it in the solar panels was the only additional expense. So, overall, um, I know I've only had it for a couple of days, but I'm actually pretty impressed with the unit. Second one, just so I can have one unit in the kitchen to run all the kitchen appliances. Uh, like I said, a low wattage bread maker, toaster kettle, um, yeah, whatever I can run off it, and then have this second unit in the studio lounge room to run the rest of the appliances that we use fairly regularly. So, um, yeah, check them out. iTech World uh, in Australia, I think they're based in Perth. Really good customer service. I did have a question regarding the unit, uh, in particular which type of adapter plug I should get and um, yeah they got back to me the same day which was awesome. So um, a little bit on the pricey side, um, you can buy cheaper units but just be wary that um, the cheaper ones don't have the uh, built-in uh, inverter I think inside. Uh, so you won't get the two AC outputs, so you won't be able to plug everyday household appliances into them. Um, so that's the reason why I got this particular unit, because I knew that I could plug in some power boards um, inside the house and run multiple appliances from it. Um, yeah, so uh, very happy with my purchase and um, yeah, looking forward to getting some more units from my tech world.